Hello Taurus, I'm Susie from the Gift Code 2 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of 14th of February and we're going to go ahead and ask the angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Taurus to know? I'm trying to bring the love in with the fire. Angel, spirit guide, Taurus, Taurus for the week of the 14th of February, week of the 14th of February for Taurus please. I've got the hangman, that was on the bottom of the deck for Aries, angel, spirit guides, universe. Similar to Aries, angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Taurus to know? Taurus. Yeah, right. Okay, Taurus, right. We have the hangman, okay? You are hanging about, you're waiting, okay? You could be waiting for a fire sign who comes and runs in and out. There's some kind of sacrifice you've got to make over this running in and out, okay? Or there could be a sacrifice over having too much fun, okay? So you might want to have some, you just want, you sick of waiting around, you might just want to go and have some fun. Or this could be a Sagittarius that's all, or a person that's fiery, that's passionate, that's coming towards you, but when they come, they're on a moving horse and they fly in and out, all right? They usually have a vice like drink, drugs, rock and roll. Um... I feel that you're getting away from this vice, whether it's an addiction or whether it's an addiction to a person. This person is, you know that you're caught between something. You could be caught between a, a vice, like, a, like, a, like a, an addiction to drugs and things like that, so, or too much fun. So you, you're saying to yourself, I'm going to hang back, I'm going to... Um, Get away from this charmer, this charming excitement, because it's just not doing you any good. And I'm going to walk out of this trap, this overwhelm, because it brings me mental overwhelm, okay? And you can walk away from it at any moment. It's like you know that you're stuck in the trap, whether it's a third party or with drugs or drink or something like that, or a person that's coming in and out. Um, a new person could have offered you something stable. I was about to offer you a new beginning. Uh, it's financial, this person plans things, they're an earth sign, they're on a stable horse. They want stability, okay? It could just be you planning your money to make sure that you're not in debt. You, you've got to pay off Peter to pay Paul. It's like maybe you need to get rid of this situation so that you can go into this situation. You might even need to pay a coach or something like that to help you, right? But you are focused on getting your plan, the security. This person wants to offer security for the future. But maybe you feel, I, I, I don't feel that I've got enough. I'm not good enough, right? Um, you're about to start a zero point, brand new. You're going to jump into the unknown. This is me. This is joy. This is children. This is fun. This is Aries. Um, it's spring. It's jumping off this cliff and not really thinking too much about it, but you just know that you want a brand new beginning. So this is probably either you're going to the gym, you're starting a new relationship, you've got rid of all your debt, you've got rid of being in some kind of tie within a third party situation, which you were keeping one person about finding out about another. Um, and you're going to, you're already on this spiritual path. This is your, you're in your element here. You, you're on the spiritual path, you've got the diploma, you know where you're going, you know what quest you're on, you know how to, this is the, the messenger of God, it's like, yes, I'll, I'll do whatever you say, I'll, I'll follow the spiritual path, okay, this also can mean commitment, someone could be coming to offer you a brand new beginning with stability and commitment, what this does is it's shocking, it's shocking, so whether someone, you find out that someone has offered someone else a commitment, or whether this comes straight out of like the blue 
to the home, very similar to Aries, it puts you on the back foot, it puts you like up on this pedestal, it's like, no, you, you don't, you can't, there's a, there's a battle of wills going on. It's weird because these two cards were with Aries as well, and the Hierophant was after it, but I think something's about to be fought for. It could be a home, it could be a battle, it could be like people want what you've got. Um, you could be about to, this new beginning could be just totally out of the blue. Um, people, it, you'll realise that nobody's perfect. Um, everything's out in the open. Someone maybe could come to tell you something. Could be some kind of thing to do with the landlord or something like that. Keys to a house. So there's some kind of battle of wills. And it's, you realise that this is like a karmic comeback. And everything comes out in the open to heal. You're in two minds of what to do here, whether to stay or go. You know you need to go and do this quest, this God-given quest, but there's this Queen of Wands, this, this leadership, this passion involved. And, and it's really difficult because it, it, you, the... It's the nightmare card, it's the overwhelm, it's not having enough information where you can't sleep. Someone's going to cause you to be up at night. And I think it's gone from the eight here where you could have walked away at any minute. But then maybe this person comes back and actually offers a commitment. And you're like, I was just on my way out the door to go and do the God-given quest to go and get my fleece. And now you come with all this passion. You come with this business idea. It's... It's too worrying. It's too... There could be like a handbag under your bed and you think it's a monster. But at the end of this week, be careful that you don't overthink things. You'll be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Very strong Aries. But this Taurus, you're in your element. Something out of the blue hits the home. Someone could come to your house and literally fight for your attention. And you're like, no, just go away. Right? I'm going out here, of, of here. But it causes you to think passionately on, on, about this. And maybe you do, it keeps you up all night. Whatever it is, someone could come, and I did say Aries, this person could come in the mic, you could be dealing with those. Let's ask the romance angels what you'd like Taurus to know about the week of the 14th to the 20th of February. Taurus, 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 Taurus. What's going on here? You've got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yes, there's, there's such a spirituality here with this hierophant, this commitment to this new beginning. And it's like it's, it's like you want this new beginning, you want to go off and do your thing, but there's a battle to get you back. Or there's a battle, it's like, no, I don't want you to go off and do your new thing. I, I, I want you to stay here. And this has caused you like this mental overwhelm. But you're committed to this spirituality. It could be that someone's, again, with the high, the high, the hangman is that waiting. Just wait. Go get rid of all these cards and go back to the first two cards. There's a self-sacrifice here, right? Let the eagle go and look around up there. You might be in a bit of a dark place upside down. Um, you're waiting for somebody. Just wait. This person is coming in with a lot of passion and excitement. Okay, you could untrap yourself from this mental overwhelm at any minute, but I think you're saying, I want to be practical, I'm going to be in my element, I've got things to pay off, 
I have my new beginning. I will jump into the unknown. I do want to travel. I want this commitment. Um, but at something out the blue could come, which prevents you from going on this, getting out of this trap, this third party situation. Like someone finds out and it all comes out in the open or, you know, it's the, or the, there's just, or it could be that someone's too young. There's an age gap with that fall there. Um, what else am I seeing? So you look at this three ones, the father's saying, please stay, I'll give you my crown. And he's saying, but my boat's in the harbour, I've got my friends waiting for me, I've got to go and get my team around me, and I'm about to go and get married. Let's say it's the four of wands, the twin flame, the marriage card or the contract. And he's saying, but you can be the king of the village if you just don't marry that person, I'll be here. So that's this, t this pull between family and the person you love. It's causing this... The Queen of Wands, she takes action, you see. Don't jump into something or someone too quickly just for fun, okay? Because it could cause a fight or um, break up a commitment. Let things come out of the box and heal, because nobody's perfect. This could be something karmic. You could have done something to this person in a past life. Now it's coming back. You're about to go off. Your ships are coming in, and it's something to do with creativity. Um, don't let uh, your mind take over. You will be taking action at the end of this week, or somebody will. It's just that you don't have enough information. You could still feel a bit trapped. Angel spirit, then it could be because their religion's different, their age gap's different. Angel spirit, guys, you know, what would you like? I don't know if I'm making sense, but would you like Taurus tonight? Taurus, but just hang back, wait. Angel spirit, like something. someone's coming in with an offer, but you need to untrap yourself from something, whether it's finances or a commitment. But I think it's going to be broken anyway. Angel spirit, guys, it's a shock, a fight. Shock, and it's like people want your platform. Angel spirit guide, you know, that's what would you like? Taurus, yeah, but a week of the 14th. A week of the 14th for February. Give me two more cards, please, for Taurus. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Angel spirit guide, you know. Your children don't get along with this partner. That's what the worry is. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes. Wait. If you're offered something, come out with me. Da, 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 da. Hold your... Because it's a shock to the home. It's like it's a, it's a shock. If someone says, I want you to marry me, or I've left my marriage, or... Do you know what I mean? This, this tower moment in love causes you to be very guarded up on your thing. And people are fighting for that platform. Let God be the judge of everything. Let everything come out and heal. Nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. Neither are they. So they, this person could be persuading you to stay or you're just about to leave and you don't know what to do. Stand in this Queen of Wands power. She's a leader. She's, she's tamed that lion. Do not let someone mentally overwhelm you or, and make sure you get proper sleep. But just this, You just could be lacking in sleep. So you can't think straight if you've not slept. It could be kids are keeping you up at night. And, and that's why the children are making it hard for you to do this thing. But wait, angel spirit guys, what would you like Taurus to know? About the week of the 14th of February for Taurus, please. Week of the 14th of February for Taurus. Week of the 14th of February for Taurus. Angel spirit guys, you know that's Taurus. Would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 14th of February? Week of the 14th of February, please. Let's look at two more questions. All right, so we've got breathe. <sighs> Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced victory 
Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. And what's this? Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Don't overthink things, Taurus. Hang back. Take it easy. Uh, you know, nobody's perfect. You might have to defend yourself in some kind of judgment people have got for you. But it, but try and untrap yourself from anything that's overwhelming mentally and make sure you get some sleep. Um, there is something coming. There's a shock. There's a, some kind of fight for your platform. Stay true to you. Love yourself first. Take care. I hope I've helped you. Please like, share and subscribe.